So today is Friday, October 19th, and I'm so excited to have some new faces here for our community writing practice and to have some familiar friends from the Sovereign Writers Circle. Um, that, that's the group where we do something a lot like this every week. Um, and today our theme, and very themed, it's a little different than I often find I do things, is the idea of let your words light your way. And um, that's one of those phrases that I think I use a lot, um, but I haven't necessarily invited myself or invited anyone else to ever really sit with the pieces of that. And so that's what we're going to do today is really sit with let the words light your way. And um, before we get into the writing piece, though, what we always do in the Sovereign Writers Circle is make sure that we have arrived in our bodies enough that they are able to fully hold whatever stories wants to come through us today. And um, it's, oh, your internet's being rotten, Jen. I understand. Um, yeah, no worries. Um, it happens. Um, so to get us fully into our bodies, it always helps, I think, to light a candle to kind of gather around your own flame. So if you have one, please light your own. But I light this for all of us. This is the candle to light our way. This is the hearth that we gather around. So much of the energy of this right now for me is, is October. You know, I'm, I live in upstate New York where it's golden right now in so many ways. And it, these are the moments when we're invited to, to savor that. And whether you live in a bit of autumn country like I do, um, I think there's just something in the air as we're considering the ways in which this is the last harvest, right? You know, in the Celtic world, which is where so much of my tradition comes from, we look to saying, oh, right, that, you know, we're looking at Halloween or Samhain on, a, on October 31st. This is the time when it's going to get dark, sisters. It's, we have a long winter ahead of us, right? So how do we start to think about how we're going to light our own way? And so much of that is going to be our community. It's going to be our creativity. It's going to be the stories that we're planting seeds for that we'll be de developing or even telling throughout the dark season to come. So I invite you just to close your eyes for a moment, feet on the floor, feel your butt in the seat. A breath out. Okay. A breath in to fill yourself with all that's possible. <sighs> and let that go. And know that this is a time to invite in the light, but to also reckon and be with the shadows. We're asking for the fullness of the experience today. We're asking for the bravery to see in the dark and to bear the light. So I am gonna go ahead and share my screen. And all right. So do we see let your words light the way? Okay, awesome. Yeah, this is longer than some of the prompts you might be used to. But the way we're gonna do this is take each question um, for about seven minutes or so. Um, you know, if you can hold yourself back from reading ahead, that's great. If you feel like you need to, I'm, I'm not going to babysit you on that. We are all big girls. We can, you know, ride this creative, our own creative horses or in creative unicorns, however they need to be. But you'll hear me uh, about every seven minutes guiding you with a new question. And if you feel like you need to stick with the last one, do that. If you feel, you know, so go at your own pace. That's why all the prompts are here for you to go along your own journey. But know that we're sort of moving with this together. And you'll get all these when I send out the um, email later. But let's begin with, as we, as we think about let your words light the way, let's begin with the words themselves. What do you hope your words will do in the world? At the most basic level, right now, why are you called to write? To heal, to create, to love? Are your words for you, for one reader? For a community you're still imagining, no answer is too small or too vast. Just let it be true for this moment. So use whatever piece of this prompt inspires you to. 
You may want to try to answer all the questions or take one word and dive in. What do you hope your words will do in the world? So you'll hear me again in about seven minutes when we'll move on to the next prompt.
<clears throat> so whenever you're ready, come with me in this next prompt and write into your understanding of the light. Are you carrying the light, seeking the light, embodying the light, or is your relationship with the light more complicated than that? It's one of those phrases we hear a lot, the light. Think about what your relationship with it is. And we will play with this for another seven minutes or so.
you choose, follow us with, to the next prompt, which is describe the path. Do you know where you're headed? Or are you somewhere between not all who wander are lost and I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm making really great time. Dare to be certain. Dare to say, I have no idea. Dare to be honest with yourself about the way forward with all of its beauty and pain. So look at this as a distinct prompt or keep finding it in the flow about what you want your words to do in the world and how you understand the light. There's no wrong way to do any of this. And you never know what you're gonna uncover with the next sentence. So we'll keep on this one for another seven minutes or so. Describe the path. I think someone might have just joined us. If you did, we're on the third prompt to describe the path. That jump in wherever you feel like you can. We'll be doing this for another six minutes or so, and we'll move on to the next prompt.
And so keep going along that path or decide to switch over to this next question with us now. Reckon with what stands in the way. When you're moving along your path and you realize that something blocks the light, what does it feel like? Is it a sense of heaviness, of darkness, a strange mix of that and more? Right into the barriers and the resistance. So we'll do this for another seven minutes and then you'll hear me again and we'll come to our final prompt. Wow. Continue to just play with whatever comes through. Reckon with what stands in the way.
Okay, now we'll move on to the final prompt, a point of arrival, a point of arrival. Explore a point, not the point. At the end of this writing session, where have you found yourself? What new ideas or familiar patterns have emerged? And don't feel like you have to wrap this all up instantly. We have some more time. Keep writing yourself toward that arrival and stay open to whatever it is that wants to reveal itself. There's no rush, but know that you wanna land somewhere. So let's write this together for at least another seven or eight minutes. And then we'll come back around and talk a little bit about the process and what came through if you choose to speak with us today a point of arrival.
So we'll start coming near to a close. This is where you might want to start thinking about the final sentence, the final paragraph, a question to ask yourself. You may want to set a date to come back to this because you may have an idea that perhaps this is inner work you need to keep doing. Maybe this is an article that needs to get written. Uh, maybe it's part of a bigger piece of work and you need to find time to integrate it in there. So as best you can, come to something that feels like a stopping point and a point of commitment to yourself. If this piece needs more from you and if you need more from it, dare to make a date and tell it what you'll give it next because we're invited to be in relationship with our words because that way they know how to give back to us. So we'll take another minute or two just to get to that sort of closing space and then we'll talk a little bit about what came through for everybody.
Okay, so I'd love for us to come back together and maybe reflect a little bit on what came through. And we have one person on the phone. Who's there with us on the phone? <laughs> Somebody. I hope you can hear us. So it's wonderful. We have three members of the writer's circle with us. And I know Evelyn well and Francine, it's great to see you again. <sighs> Does anybody want to share what came through for them? A line that stuck with them? A, oh my gosh, I surprised myself here kind of moment? I'll start that I had shared privately with Marissa that I found I was writing an article for LinkedIn or maybe one I'd like to expand on it and I prefer to publish it on Medium where the audience is greater and has an appreciation of words and emotion. Mm. And just at the end, I wrote, I feel so blessed and grateful that I carved this time for me. Mm. I left early and I'm going to be working later. Yeah. That I invested the time because I'm using this. It just happened to work into a business theme and it validated that I am a writer. <gasps> Yay! Oh. Well, that's a pretty powerful 40 minutes of realization right there. I think that's a pretty darn beautiful thing. Oh. Thank you for making time for you. And I love that, you know, we forget sometimes, I think, how often we make time for ourselves and it, then it makes time for our work. You know, if we can step in with that kind of faith, it does change everything and it we know that but do we like know that um and the more experiences like this we can collect for ourselves and seeing community i think we, we get a chance to remember so thank you so much everyone for being here and making the time <clears throat> thank you very mm -hmm. much and everybody because it is a community <laughs> So, who else has something to? Yes, Francine. Um, I really love the uh, that I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm making great time. <laughs> yeah. Um, it feels empowering somehow, validating. Um, so it's okay for me to be uncertain and walking into the unknown. It's totally okay for me to be afraid. Um, I'm searching the boundaries of my emotions and I'm experiencing life from a different perspective, even though it's sometimes uncomfortable and painful. Mm. Um, and it's keeping me awake at night and, and that's okay too. You know, I'm, I'm going somewhere with all this, even though I don't know where, you know, there's just a growing and an expanding, I don't know. Yeah. Mm, oh, awesome. That line is a quote from my college roommate's crappy boyfriend. They were driving <laughs> overnight from Boston to Kentucky. And I just, I don't remember the guy's name, but I remember her calling, like, it was, what was it? it was the early 2000s, so she didn't text me, but reported later, yeah, he said, I don't know where we're going, but we're making great time. So 
that guy was a jerk, but he's given us gifts, whoever he is, maybe <laughs> well. And I, I hope that even if you're not sleeping at night, I, I embrace you in your, that frenetic, creative, bubbly cauldron energy um, and that you'll get a good nap when you need one. Well, my, my ex-husband made the comment when we were traveling once that if you always know where you're going, you'll never discover anything. So true. So that kind of, I like that one, those two together. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Oh, awesome. It's all good. Great, well, thank you so much for being here. It's wonderful. Hmm. Katarina, I'm looking at you. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this was really fun. Mm. Um, and I feel like I'm right in line with everybody else. And, you know, I'm like, yup, kind of ended on that, in that space of gratitude for mm. taking this time and putting the words, um, and just more and more finding how valuable it is to put words to that stuff, um, and putting them down on the page and, uh, what a difference that makes in my own life. And so, and I loved just the path that you created with the prompts. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like it, for me, it opened the door to a lot of poetry. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a lot of, um, I don't know, it was just gorgeous. Uh, the experience mm -hmm. to explore the light and explore the path and step into that space of unknown, not knowing, um, I put, uh, like, with describing the path, what is my path? Where am I headed? I don't really know. I'm in the delicious in between. So it was just, like, I don't know, yummy and lovely and fun. And definitely, you know, I want to go back in and, and kind of play with the words that came up. But um, I'm so glad I was here. Yeah. And, that, and that the point of arrival is I have no idea where. <laughs> and that's cool, too. <laughs> fertile territory really it is I, and i think you know i think just again that kind of recognition of how okay it is to be in the unknown how mm -hmm. how much more comfortable i am now than i've ever been with that not knowing yeah like, yeah this is this is life so yeah yeah thank you Awesome. Thank you for that validation. I mean, in, in knowing, you know, we have a lot, because Katarina is in our, the writer's group where we usually have, we have two prompts in our writing session and it's very set that way. And it felt, I was nervous in a way about kind of overwriting the prompts today, but that's just kind of what came through. And um, just to give kind of the basis of the inspiration is some of you may know Elizabeth Cunningham, the novelist who wrote the Maeve Chronicles. Um, she's my mentor and I had the, I am blessed to go and get to tell her all of my tales of woe and bask in her wisdom. Um, and she's actually gonna be our guest in the Sovereign Writers Circle in January. Um, but we did some kind of past life regression work yesterday and she guided me into the space between the lifetimes where I had never thought to hang out before. And that's, I think, part of what inspired this to go this way today. Um, so I just, you know, I just kind of the layering in of all the things that got us here to write together. Um, you know, maybe that's something as you guys are thinking about this too, if you were thinking about <clears throat> Space between the lifetimes, not where was I, you know, then what would it be like to explore the cracks? Um, and maybe that will launch something else for you guys to come through. Yeah, I thought it flowed just so well. It's easy to stop and then start to next because they just connect. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, think so. Think about it. You can use that too. Like, deconstruct sentences you use all the time like think about something you hear yourself say to a client a lot or you say to you know someone you're in relationship with like have you really sat with that sentence to find you know maybe there's contradictions in it maybe you're not fully you know embodying all you're saying and you but always you are embodying what you say all the time like you are carrying around some mysteries that you're not even fully aware of and i just want all of, all of us to be as aware of our own magic as we can be and all that we're really doing when we say something like let the words find the way like you know i wrote that on the top of this invitation page kind of as a thing to write <laughs> at the time i thought and then you know there's all those layers so yeah it's something to keep exploring cynthia, cynthia how are you doing what oh 
This is great. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this was, I feel like I agree with everybody that just came onto the screen. And um, I also find that this is really um, not allowable. This is like a radical group, like, like witches or something. It's just really not my, not my okay. You know, it, where are you going with it? What are you doing? It's, it's a, it's an output of time, energy, money, and what the hell did, did you, did, where's the back? Where's the money back from that? Mm. It's really, a, it's really a difficult place to be, but mm. all everybody else believes in it. And I don't have a hard time getting to do this kind of work. I, I do my best to pull away from it as much as possible. Um, so if everybody else is doing it and they're not getting in trouble, nobody's been arrested yet. So I, I think I can <laughs> <laughs> no witches have been burned due to writing practice as far as I know in my lifetime that I have been part of. <laughs> Very um, radical. This this idea and this this exploration and this the camaraderie is just really wildly wonderful, radical, dangerous. Oh, ooh, you've got me giving all kinds of shivers. Thank you, Cynthia. <laughs> Just added something new to the cauldron, as we say. Um, ooh, thank you. Thank Coming you. up on Halloween. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don, how are you? Are you still in Florida? I am. Today's my last day. <laughs> thank you for coming in from the sun and spending these hours with us this week. Oh, I could, I just I couldn't miss it. And you know, I um I so resonate with what everyone shared. And I, I thought this was the, um, I really enjoyed that we had, um, you know, the, the, the different prompts, several of them, mm -hmm. and they did, they flowed beautifully. And um, I just loved the whole process. And I, I wanted to share, um, I had a couple of um, big insights, but for me, the prompt around reckoning with what stands in your way, mm -hmm. like what came through for me was what's stands in the way of of me shining my light mm. um and that was like wow um i have something to work with now like how um you know when i'm feeling constricted or disconnected you know it's those to pay attention because those are places where you know um you know I'm, I'm not shining my light or i'm not connected with the with the real truth of who i am so that was that was really powerful. Um, and then my arrival point is actually, it is a theme that has been coming up for me over the past couple weeks. And it just, it keeps coming through stronger and stronger. Um, and it came through today, which is um, for me, I'm feeling it's time for me to shift the focus of my practice from healing to creativity. And it was, and, and I've needed, I've need, and it keeps coming out in my writing. Mm. And one of the last things I wrote was that, um, how I'm just so grateful to be writing and so grateful to be in this community because I'm discovering that I actually have a lot more to say than I ever thought I did. And, um, and so, because every time I sit down, like, I just, it's like, it just pours out of me. Mm -hmm. So um, that was, yeah, that was, it almost makes me, it brings me to tears that I actually, I do have something to say and it's important. Yeah. It's important. <laughs> and now's the time to start sharing it. So that was, that was a big breakthrough moment for me. So mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Thank You're you. Welcome. <laughs> that, that transition point, which is something you'll, it's a door you'll always be able to go back to, obviously, but that from healing to creating. And once you realize it's a two-way portal, there's so much in there. So um, welcome to this, welcome through the doorway. Thank you. <laughs> welcome. Oh, okay stuck. Um, well, it's one o'clock, everyone. I want to say thank you all so much. As many of our was here to the end, you guys are already members of the Sovereign Writers Circle. You know this is what we do every week. Um, but, you know, please know that we're welcoming new members starting on November 1st. If it's something you're called to do on the regular, um, let me know. Let's talk about it. We do these weekly sessions at noon, various days of the week, and we do a writing coaching call where we all come and talk about our blocks and the thing that we're working on. And um, sometimes we get to the word level and 
strategery and sometimes it's just what is it like to pass through the door in between healing and creating? And we talk at that level too. Um, I bring my witchiness and I bring my copywriterness. And um, I have an amazing, wonderful group who allows me to like figure out when I'm standing in the middle and I freak out a little bit. I'm like, I can't believe I'm telling you about all the magic stuff right now. And then everyone's like, Marisa, just you already do it. Just stop pulling this up the board. Um, they see it really lovingly, but sometimes they also tell me it was, and it's nice. Because um, we, you know, it's all in love. So, and we bring in a guest expert every month as well. As I said, Elizabeth Cunningham is going to be our um, January guest. I just set that up for her. So if you have any questions, um, let me know. Um, but I'm just so grateful to have you guys all here. I think we're going to do our next community writing session sometime in early December to split the difference between the Thanksgiving and the December holidays. Um, so you stay tuned and I'll let you know when that next one is. And um, I'm here for all of you. Let me know what you need as you're discovering through your October light in the darkness, dark in the light kind of time. Let's keep talking and sharing our stories. It's the only way through. So it was a good seeing everybody again. Yay. Oh, Very good. Yes. Thank you. Mm, yay. All right. Have an amazing weekend, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Yay. Bye. Bye. Bye.